One of the really cool things that you can do with procedures is actually manipulate data before you return it to the actual event caller. So you can have a layer between the actual data and the data being shown where you could actually change the data entirely. And that's what we're going to look at now. So to create a new procedure again, we're going to change the delimiter. And then we're going to create our new procedure. I'm just going to call this staff cursor. And we're going to pass the job title across again. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create two temporary variables. We're going to call them S, number, and S, salary. And we're going to declare them as being integers. We're also going to declare a new cursor. A cursor is a way to actually select data from a database one line at a time, one row at a time, which allows us to actually manipulate that data. So we're going to call it staff cursor, which is a cursor. And you type four, which then allows you to actually write the commands that you're going to do. So this is almost a variable within our procedure, which we're using to actually call the function for us to call the actual select statement. We're just going to select staff number and salary from. I'm going to put the restaurant name in there just for completeness, just so that there's no ambiguity at all as to where this actual staff table is. Now that we've created this cursor, we actually need to open it, which we do by typing open staff cursor. And whenever we open a cursor, we also need to specifically close the cursor as well. If you don't do this, MySQL will basically just wait until it receives this close command, which can be indefinitely which can obviously affect the performance of your MySQL database if it's waiting for something which is never going to receive. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to loop and we're going to fetch the staff cursor into the S no and the S sal fields so what that's going to do is it's going to loop through each individual instance of the actual returned data from this select statement. And it's going to, on each occasion, put the two fields into this, these two fields for us. And from here we can do anything we want. We can obviously change the numbers, we can amend them, we can, as I say, do anything with them. We also need to end that loop. But in this case, all we're going to do with them is we're going to concatenate them and I'll put the return to values. So we're going to concatenate staff number is So what we're going to do now is just run this procedure to store it into our database and then comment it out so that we can actually run it. And what you're going to see happen is we're going to have multiple outputs because we're going to select 
the cock. And because we have these multiple outputs, each one's going to have one line and they're going to both be staff number is and then the staff number salary is and then the salary. Like this. So as I say, we can actually manipulate the data to do anything we want. In this instance, we've obviously just added some text into the field. We could obviously change this so that the outputs were saved as salary or something like that, depending on what we wanted to do. But as I say, the key point of this video was to talk about the cases. And cases are basically just ways to access individual records within a select statement. And we do this with a fetch command instead of select. And the syntax is very similar to any other named object within a SQL database. It's just declare instead of create. Staff cursor, which is just the name of the cursor. Cursor, which is the type of the object. And then for, which is just saying everything after this point is considered part of this cursor. And if you think about it, you can obviously do anything you want with this. You can change salaries, you can update things. If you want to award a bonus to just people who had met certain conditions, you could perform a select statement with the cursor to select those people. And then you could also loop through each individual one to add specific tailored bonuses to their wages. The possibilities are endless.